All right. All right. Oh, intro lunge. Intro lunge. Intro lunges. Hip flexor stretching. Al Biff. Chronicles are not yet champion golfer. Lesson jobby. We actually did a lesson. Mm. Three months ago. Three right, months ago. I'll link him up there. Bit of a fly on the wall jobby, so you're the fly. This is the wall. Watching the lesson, hopefully showing some form of improvement. Shite. Wrong. Oh my god. Is there three of the best struck chips I've hit? Right, so last time we were stood here, what were we doing? I can't even remember. Well, we were actually, we were hitting a few here and we were in the garage as well. Ah, right, but yeah. remember I was like steep yeah. and I'd go right direction, swing direction. Yeah, you, way yeah right. so you, you like to steepen the shaft, which gives you a right swing direction. Yeah. It's not that the hands path right. Well, it is because it almost goes like this. It almost should come back to your ball. It's like the hands then go right, but the shaft steepens. Yeah. And the head's still quite neutral. Yeah. But it's because the hands are doing that and the shaft's steepening. Yeah. What we're trying to get to do is have the hands shallower and left yeah. and then the club's incredibly stable at that point left hip back then. love it to be honest with you i have been better like irons have been better drive has been better generally but it's a bit hit and miss but to be honest i'm not that bothered that it's hit and miss as long as there's some hit in there i'm happy because i accept that kind of that's how it's going to be for a little striking bit striking it better aren't you yeah yeah i'm Good. definitely striking it better i kind of make sense you're not like steeping the shaft and glancing it anymore and I'm just, I, I mean, you know, I know I'm going to hit some horn, some good, but. That's enough for that, right? So, see you next week, because that was filth. <laughs> oh, see that hit forward, see I nearly fell forward. You know it though. Yeah. Start lines are good. Yeah. Start lines consistent as well. Oh, that's not. Oh no. Oh no. He likes the, sh the shaft. Well, he doesn't like it. He does. Where the shaft goes up here, and you'll notice sometimes it gets a bit steep on the way down. By steep, I mean it goes that way. This goes a little bit this way. This goes this way. Now you can kind of see from this plane to hit the ball, it's got to steepen. So shallowing the club is shallowing it underneath the plane. So if I had a ball, not quite this, but not far off. Basically, if it's in plane, the shaft of the club should be pointing at your target, the, the, the ball, basically. So if you're under the plane, the club would sit here. If you're steep in a plane, it'd sit this side. So you can see if I follow this plane, I'm gonna miss the ball. Likewise, if I shallow too much, I'd miss the ball this side. So you need to have an element of both. What happens when you threw the ball sometimes, if someone's a bit glitchy, so i.e. the hands have to uh, rise and the shaft steepens, is because the down swings in the wrong place and then they have to do something funky to hit it. So what we're trying to do is find a way for Al to deliver the club better so that he doesn't have to think about this bottom end too much. He's worked really hard in his, in his leg move that he can now start to do a little bit of this. And it's a bit of chicken and egg. Do you go this way first, or do you work at the legs? I like to work at the legs so it's less intrusive, um, and then try and move this a little bit shallower. Some people might want to move it shallower to then, which will then impact the legs, if you know what I mean, so. I think that's important what you've said, is yeah. that people, it's, it's dead easy for people to get obsessed with one move, but they actually have to do something because of another move at the top of the backswing or something in the backswing, yeah. you know, where someone might say, oh, I steepen it on the way down, but actually the backswing's around here and they've got to. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's kind of a bit of, you've got to be careful with the way that you do things, really. It's easy to think, oh, something's going wrong. I need to get shallower, but it could be something else completely exactly. opposite. What I want to try and get him to do, and I've seen this a few times playing with you, and he'll openly say this, I think sometimes when he tries to go after it and tries to hit a hard one, he tries to find his power, which is actually from here. It goes oh, that way, it steepens, and now he has, to, he has to rely purely on timing. So if he can find a power source more in his lat, his deltoid, the back of his shoulder, to pull that right arm down, 
as he starts to open and rotate his body, the club will sit in playing better. Now I've got that there and I've got something screaming in the back of my shoulder here. Sort of something is really on, there's a muscle really tense here because I've actually activated it to get the club down here. Let's have a bit of an experiment. I've got a rubber band. They're new shoes, aren't they? Oh, they're fancy, these ones. Lose the club. Need to reshafting, but never mind. Um, so, top of your back swing, where'd your right arm be? Yeah. So, in your bad one, what happens, you feel? I go. That closes, right, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so forearm goes down that way and this, yeah. this shoulder comes in. So we need someone to hold that back, don't yeah, we? Yeah, it's almost so like... Let's just have a little minute, right? Stand on that on your right on your right foot. And then grab hold of that thumb up. Uh, thumb, thumb up, there right. you go. Yeah, tension. Yeah. So now, just stand up normal. I want that there. Yeah. And I want that to rotate down and then pull up on the band. There you go, that's one. There you go. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. So what he's doing, He's working these muscles here, the ones that I was talking about before that I felt a bit of a pinch on. Yeah, yeah. And he's it. trying to, I'm just trying to get him some activation in here. I am not a strength and conditioning coach. I don't know whether this is bullshit or not. Do not take my word for this. We're having a bit of a play around purely for him. Don't sue me. That's on a week. Yeah, 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 it is, yeah. Right, okay. I'll do. Hit a shot. Let's see if he shanks it. <laughs> <laughs> Can you feel it? Yeah. So I want you to feel that through on the downswing. Not bad. Okay. Not bad. Go on, do that again. Can you feel the spot in which it's oh, gonna burn? Yeah, so it's for me it feels like it's gonna go I'm yeah. here. Yeah. But it feels like that keeps There you go. Exactly that. Yeah, nah. you know what? Start line's good. That doesn't bother me at all. I'm not expecting to strike it great after just doing some training session, but uh, yeah. So, so you that. can see at home how compacted down that right shoulder is now. So do that again. You can kind of see this staying long from here to here. Go and pull that down now. And you can kind of see that this shoulder is now packed down and back. What it is not is yeah. forward and that way. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to have another feel of that. Feel that that muscle, that area. So it feels there. You go. So you, it's almost like you're stretching that right shoulder out. <laughs> it felt smooth. That to be honest with you, it's actually gone a little longer than the others. Well. What you're doing now is you're, you're, if you get it right, you're going to buy yourself time in the golf swing. But what I mean by that is the arm sitting on the side of the body and it's staying on the side of the body as you rotate. The arm sitting in line with your body, it's not having to go this way and then something else to happen. Well, that, that, that's a big thing of mine and I know I do it. I know when I try and hit it hard, it doesn't necessarily go further because I go that way yeah, and then have to back I get up. here and back up so all the energy that I've yeah. got is that you know I'm relatively strong in a golf yeah. swing all the energy I've got here is kind of lost because I've got to go back up and, the club and then back you can underneath. see how the shaft steepens and the hands go that way I mean I can get sounds like I'm being cocky I'm not but because I'm decent at golf I can I can time it steep and I pull it back and get it a little bit more yeah on plane where I need it to be but You've lost so much energy because everything's going backwards. Exactly, and then also you're relying on the timing of dropping back and steepening the shaft to yeah. hit it straight. Where if you've got the arm in a, in a better position, packed down against that scapula's packed down in against the armpit, you've got external rotation of the right arm. By external rotation, I mean it's moving this way, so then the arm can sit down, the club sits this side of him, internally rotated, no go at all because the shaft's only ever steepening so like i say you can be strong here bench pressing but then when he turns it on it, his whole body wants to go this way so he needs to work a little bit in this area to drop that club down so he can turn around that's another another thing that you know and i've given lessons and people try and say well they need to get the club most most people are over the top that yeah. way aren't they so it's like okay well 
they say I need to pull the elbow in. If it doesn't, because it gets so yeah. tight and in, all the force goes into the handle and pulls it steep. It's not that, it's almost like make this long. Yeah. Like the longer that yeah. is, longer that sort of like shoulder blade kind of moves yeah. down as but a you're feeling. Trying, you're trying to keep the shoulder long, but this loaded. Yeah. So this has got to be screaming. Nice, got a couple more of them, another 10 of those. Thumb up, just standing neutral, not, not in golf posture. Lovely. Because what we're trying to do as well, if he can drop the club down this way and keep this elbow, see how my forearm moves down that way? If he can do that, as the club comes here, the ball only ever starts up the right hand side of him. From there, it's just down to the release of the club to actually hit a little draw. If he moves it this way, he's always got a left start and then has to back up and hold the face to hit to hit it online. If he releases it there, because he's got power, it just literally goes over here somewhere. So you can kind of see the importance for Al to drop that club down, but he does it as he rotates open. The right arm's got to stay in conjunction with his right side of his body as he turns and opens, and then you can kind of see how the ball will start up the right with a little draw. We're actually getting that a little bit more now where I always went to the fade, or I prefer to see the draw now. I think I'm probably a little, I actually think I'm suited to the draw. I do as well, I think it'll spin the ball correctly for you. Yeah. I, I think sometimes with the fade, with how you do it, I feel like you might over spin the golf ball yeah. now and again, which would be a nightmare if you're playing wind. It's almost like it's flattening off that back swing as well to give you a, a starting point as well. Beauty. Ball's never starting left of you now. That is literally pitched bang on the line. That has not moved off the line. Yeah, that right arm's lovely and packed down there like that. Ah. Don't mind it, little point you know, just get your shoulders a bit square, your shoulders are a little bit open as well. Right, okay. I think that'll help you get the club behind you a little bit more. There you go, much better. Yeah? Yeah. You'll feel that tension in the back of that shoulder. That was good. Yeah, it's not a hint of starting left, is no, it either? It's, it's nowhere near that left window. I yeah. can feel a difference when I get starting even sometimes I get starting right. Yeah. It's because that backup goes too much back up. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh, yeah. and it's, it's right going miss. right though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where this cause it, it goes shallow and behind, it can then actually rotate and release around. You can't well if the club goes steep, you can't release it. If the hands are low, you can release the club based on the plane. That's such a good feeling for people, that to get it shallow, is feel like that lengthen. I've said it before in a video actually, but feel that like neck and shoulder lengthen. I can feel a stretch down my neck and on the back on the yeah. back of my shoulder. Lovely, but look how look how open your right arm is and rotated externally. It's packed down. Shoulder square, please. Thank you. So I tried, to, it's funny because I tried to give a little bit more into that then. Yeah. Immediately felt that switch off and go. Yeah, that way. That's where your your power source is from the front. If you're going to be explosive, it's, it, you know, it's, if you're going to be explosive, it's, it's bang. You know, yeah, that, yeah. You're, you're powerful that way. So he needs to almost be able to, when he turns to power, actually go the other way. So it comes from more that seat yeah. back and rotate yeah, yeah, loads yeah. of space. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that that is look how far that's gone. So much of what you do well is is ball flight control. So the launch and shape is so it's reliable, you know what I mean? I'm not saying you always it's target because no one does, but 
you know what way it's going generally it you always, know where it's launching it always starts in the correct window yeah so my mine's, sound mine's changeable yeah too so much. your your window you can start at either side of the line mm -hmm. mine always starts a millimeter or two down the right hand side and then i just know i can just move it that way if i want to move it left i can i just choose not to i'm a bit one dimensional there's been some great players who've been one dimensional over the years yeah but i for me i can then control the spin correctly which is why i'm quite good in the wind as well still got that feeling in the back of the shoulder yeah Oh, Al is back. Al is back. <laughs> 200 yards, 7 iron that. Down the line. How far is that marker? Let's have a little. He gets so obsessed with this sort of stuff. Oh, I just, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I've made, I've been, I've made a decision. Out of a, out of points of context, by the way, can you show everyone on camera the uh, laser you're going to use? That still works. <laughs> Look, uh, it's just annoying. I had to change the battery before, and you have to retape it. It's a bit annoying, but old school, vintage. How far did that go? Two oh six. Oh, what a man you are! Can yeah. I have some more band stuff? Just to, I just yeah. want to make sure that that stays good, and it literally just want you doing this because I want you to be able to. Honestly, I love it because I have made a decision. I've said before on camera, like I got a bit disillusioned with tournament golf. Mm. Because you know, I wasn't enjoying yeah, it. it was some well, really talk good. And work, talk and work. Some really good. Some. Some up. Oh, yeah. So that way. Yeah, yeah. That way. Yeah, yeah. Some really good and some awful. Yeah. And I kind of made the decision, right? I've had enough of swinging it steep and doing my head in. Yeah, yeah. And keep on like working out, going into one's scope, reverting back. Mm. So this sort of stuff. All the time in the world to do it. Yeah, I love it. I haven't got all the time in the world to do it. I don't mean I've got all the time in the world to do it, but I mean I'm happy to give it all the time yeah, in the world yeah. to do it. Right, well, just, on, just, just on that as well. Uh, just do some so sort of shoulder width apart. Again, don't trust me on this. Speak to someone professional and just let you have a couple of just opening for this on the side of your body. How many? So other... go narrow, narrow in the start. There you go. Now just open it. There you go. See how much you can, more you can open on the left. Show that to camera. Yeah, you've got a bit more. See how much stronger he is on the left side over the right? Those look quite interesting. Yeah, because you need to be stronger in the right hand side to control it on the way down. So obviously you're stronger in the right side when pushing and you're then weaker in the back. How many other caddy player scenarios is the player coaching the caddy? <laughs> <laughs> Just getting you ready. So when we play uh, players in a few years, Oh, I stand, love that confidence. And we stand on the 17th tee, and he's got to hit the shot in front of everyone. I'm all over that confidence, so grass. by the way. This is what it's for, you see, because I, I want you to win that. All over that confidence. When you do that, well, you try can... not to extend the arm, try and keep it tight. So do it again, rehearsal. That's fine. No, no, you don't need to club. Just make sure that elbow comes into your body now. There you go. So you can feel a bit more of a strain in the mm -hmm. back, yeah? There you go, better, better, better. So much more time for everything to open, isn't it? Exactly. And that's all you're trying to do with this game. You're just trying to load the dice in your favour to hit more consistent golf shots. You know what I love about it though? He's just stood there going, oh, 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 like that. So he's probably back of his shoulders wrecking at the moment. And he stands up and it goes, flush. Beauty. So much strike on it. So is there anything else you need? I always forget stuff at the end. You surely got to thank someone. You've thanked someone on every single video we've ever done. Mm, like just, and subscribe. Yeah, just thanks for people for commenting and subscribing and, and liking. If you if you like what we did today and it might, you know, it might have some relevance to you and you got any questions about it, fire away. Let me see if we can answer them. Thanks for watching. See you next Tuesday. Gonna finish off with an absolute ripper, yeah? Okay. Shoulders. Shoulders. Put himself under pressure and he's hit a golf shot. Ah, look at that down the line. 
little two yard draw. Oh. The trouble is, I'm going to lose him now. That's why I'm saying enough's enough now. Thanks for watching. See you next Tuesday because he will stand here now all night. Well, that's the next level, isn't it? That's our next. That's going to help everything we've talked about before. Love that. Okay. <laughs> I hope that's still recording. <laughs>